Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we're retouching an image that I've done in my studio last week. I was actually inspired by a photographer. I saw that she created a face mask using leaves and I actually recreated it. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the behind the scenes I've done last week, but you can check out the behind the scenes by using the link in the description for that. Alright, so let's get right to the editing but before i do that please guys remember to subscribe to this channel and also like and share the video so other people can actually see this also i'm going to ask you one big favor or maybe it's a small favor maybe it's a big one but do not skip any of the ads in this video watch it to the end maybe it's a minute but just watch it all right let's get right to the editing all right, so let me show you what the settings were for this um, image. So as you can see on my screen, you can always pause it and take a look at it. I was shooting with the Flashpoint AD600, well, Flashpoint 600. So yeah, it was only a one light setup and I was using a highlighter as you can see here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to create a copy. Then I'm going to come over here to where it says crop and I'm gonna click on the crop tool and then select the four to five ratio. So when I upload it to Instagram, it will be the full size image. So I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit like this. I think I'm okay with that crop, good. All right, so the copy that I've created, I'm going to use that copy to clean up the image. I'll be using the uh, healing brush tool. So you just go over to the, the brush tool here. You can press J on the keyboard and then, you know, you can just hold on on this tool here and you can see the uh, spot healing brush tool. All right. What you want to do as well is to ensure that the brush is small as the pimple that you'll be removing. Because if it's too big, it's going to cause, um, uh, I don't know what I call it, but it's not going to look good. <laughs> so you want to ensure that it's small. So all I'm doing right now, I'm moving pretty fast because I don't want this to be a long video as I've mentioned before um right just like that just all i'm doing is just tapping on the uh blemishes that i'd like to remove from the um image itself so that's all i'm doing start right i may uh speed up the cleaning up of the image just to avoid to have a long video but I mean you guys know the process of cleaning up the image if it's your first time watching and you actually wanted to see me do the entire cleaning up of the image uh, sorry about that but you can watch any of my other videos I don't normally um, you know what let me just do it <laughs> let me just quickly do it but trust me you don't you don't want to rush this process because you will definitely miss some of the blemishes so let me just do that real quick that looks good all right let's come down to the arm i'm going to do the same thing simple just do that and normally i would use the patch tool because i mean the patch tool is my favorite tool to use i think it's faster um but i mean any one of these tools you're able to use to remove blemishes from the skin but trust me my favorite tool is the patch tool looks good i'm not seeing any patch anywhere and normally when you use these tools you might have some patches different sections but it all comes down to the size of the brush and whatever you're moving so yeah I think I'm too zoomed up let me just zoom up uh, down a little bit I think I'm okay with what I've done so far Oh, she did her own makeup as well, so, yeah. 
I really like to work with models who can do their own makeup, you know. Um, not to say that I wouldn't, I don't like working with makeup artists, but sometimes I may have an idea and the makeup artist is not available. And trust me, it's really helpful when a talent can do their own makeup because, you know, it's faster, you know, because they have been doing it on their faces for a very long time. So it's a bit faster in my opinion and you know i can easily well call up on a model and say hey let's do a shoot and we don't have to worry about the makeup artist not being available and stuff like that you know all right so that is it for the cleaning up of the image let me look at the before and after so the next step now is to do some dodge and burning so i'm gonna well, sorry, not dodge and burning. Frequent separation. So I'm going to click the frequent separation action. You can find the frequent separation action by using the link in the description. I'm not going to change the settings on it. I'm just going to go to the low frequency layer. Then I'm going to come over here to brushes and then click on the mixer brush. For your mixer brush, ensure that it's at 4. Well, you can use 2% or you can use 4% for the wet. Everything else remains the same. It's just how much of brushing you want to do or how much I, I don't know how to explain that part but you know just ensure that there's no color here you clear the color and you can brush all right what you want to do as well or what you want to ensure as well is that you don't really brush one section too much i mean just brush it out to the point where it looks like it's even and the higher the wet is is the faster the uh the skin becomes even you don't want to add too much because you want to ensure that the skin looks natural so I'm not adding too much brushing at one section that is it I'm gonna do the nose bridge now side of the nose over the top good so I am done let's look at the before and after for just that portion before and after all right so i'm going to close this frequent separation action i'm going to go down to the background then i'm going to click frequent separation again okay then i'm going to um, select the frequent separation that i've just created then Control shift right bracket on the keyboard all right then i'm going to go to the low frequency layer i'm going to hold on on sh uh, space and just move the image up and then i'm going to work on the arm i don't want to use the same uh, frequent separation action for the arms all right so i'm on the mixer brush again i'm just gonna get this bigger and just brush so again you don't want to do too much because you don't want it to look fake at all all right i'm just go back and forth Uh, that looks good let's look at the before and after for just that portion so before and after good i'm gonna come over here and do the same thing i'm just evening out the skin that looks good perfect i'm just gonna do some more here nice uh, the model's chest just a little the back a little as well all right i think i'm done yeah good all right so i've done the frequent separation for uh, the face and the arm let's look at the before and after before after good now i'm going to do some dodge and burning so I'm going to click the dodge tool here and the burn tool as well. Ensure that you're on the brush, 1% for the flow. I'm going to start with the dodge. I'm just going to zoom the image up a little bit. And then I'm just going to brush the areas I'd like to highlight. Just look at the before and after. Good. These areas. And how you should, how you'd know what to highlight. I mean, 
wherever on the image has on a highlight you just highlight it and wherever on the image is dark you just burn it uh, however sometimes you just have to watch what the makeup artist is doing and you'll have an understanding how to do um, dodge and burn or why you do a dodge and burn it's basically shaping the face it's contouring and um, highlighting all right so that looks good I'm just gonna come down to the model's arm and see if I need to do anything else down here I don't think I really need to do let me try to do some um, dodging actually I don't think I need to do any much dodging at all all right her arm look a bit uh, what they call this yellow I'm gonna try something I'm gonna create a new layer Control alt shift E Control J then I'm gonna go to camera raw Control shift a camera raw I want to play with the yellow let me see yellow under um, color mixer let me just do this yeah so I'll just take out the hue let me try to do some vib um, vibrant uh, saturation I think I like that let me just I'm just going to create a mask holding down on alt and click the mask tool and I'm just going to mask in the area that I want. So press B for the brush, put the uh, uh, flow at 100%, and then we're just going to, you know, mask in the area that we want to have the yellow adjusted. So I'm good with that. Now I'm going to create a new layer so I can do some more color grading. So Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer, Control J to create a copy of the new layer. You can go to Filter and then um, Camera Raw and then we're going to play with the colors so under where it says collaboration if you're using the new photoshop you can go down to where it says um, primary colors and you can just pump that up a little bit let me just show you the before and after so that's what i just did the um, primary color hue then i'm going to go back up to the top and then i'm going to add some dehaze just a little bit of dehaze uh shadows i want to bring out the shadows a little bit blacks uh yes blacks just a little bit as well then uh, highlights let me see nah don't need any highlights but contrast yeah so that's a little color grading there i don't need to do much all right so i'm gonna click okay good then what else i need to do what else i need to do i think i want to adjust the color of the mask a little bit so i'm going to create a new layer again then Control shift alt well Control shift a and that will give you a uh, camera raw and then i'm going to adjust the color for the mask so where it says green under color mixer i'm gonna play with the hue so it's green I think I like this. Gonna play with the saturation as well and luminosity like that. Um, I'm gonna go to the HSL and play with the yellows a little bit. Good. Uh, what else can I adjust? Green? Nah. Put the green back up there. I think I'm okay with that. Let me look at the before and after for the mask. Yeah, look at that and look at this. It looks better. All right, so I'm going to press OK. I think I'm done. I think that is it for the image. Actually, no. I need to highlight our eyes a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come right here where it says uh, curves. Then I'm going to bring the curves right up. Then I'm going to click the mask and then click uh, Control i to invert. Press B on the keyboard for the brush, and then I'm going to lower my opacity to about 64%, and then I'm just going to paint the eyes. And then I'm going to clean up the eyes using clean teeth and eyes, the action. And I'm going to put this to about 25%, and just clean the eyes. Good. So let's look at a before and after for cleaning the eyes and also brightening the eyes. So before after that is it i don't think i need to do anything more with this image this looks good i wonder if i can adjust the background a little bit i'm gonna put everything inside a 
um, what do you call this, a group, create a new layer, and then let me create a new layer under this and put blue, control, backspace. I'm going to remove the background and see, uh, hopefully I don't have any problems with these right here. If I'm going to have any problems, I'm not going to adjust the background. So to remove the background, if you're using, um, if you're using the 2020 uh, Adobe Photoshop, you can come to properties under um, Windows and you'll get this property, properties tab, right, panel, and you can click remove background. All right, so I'm having issue right here. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. Um, I'm going to let it stay. I'm going to see if I can adjust it a little bit. So what you can do is to click back on the uh, the mask and then click on, sorry about that, click on select and select something, select mask, that, that little option there. And then what I'm going to try to do is try to get rid of some of these things in here. I'm use this one. Let me see if this is the right one. Yes, this is it. Just gonna try to refine it a little bit. Let me see what this one does at the top. Okay, it brings it back. All right. Um, I wonder if I can use this. Let me press OK and see what it looks like. What I want to do though is to maybe darken this background a little bit more. I hope I did not do that too too fast, guys. So you miss anything, but you can run back the video. I'm just gonna create another layer right under this. And I'm gonna get the I think I'm gonna use this same color that I've got from her um skin. I'm gonna select the brush, put this at about sixty-six percent. And on this blank layer here, I'm just going to get my brush bigger by using the right tab, the right um, bracket on the keyboard. And I click once. Good. Right, so that's the highlight. Maybe I want to use white. Um, let me undo that. I'm going to use white. Wait. Just click right there. Good. Let me use white and see what it looks like. Yeah, white looks better. <laughs> I like white. All right, so that looks good. I don't think I need to do anything else with this image. I am done. So to save this image for Instagram now, uh, are the best quality, you go to export, save for web, and then you want to change the width to 1080. Once you change the width to 1080, then you can um, save your image and it should be good for Instagram. Before I do that though, I'm going to add my logo to it so I'm gonna press a I created a new logo let me put this in now actually I think I have a brush for this logo in a way let me see something here let me go to my brush uh, I think I have a brush for this oh yes right here good so I need to get this smaller I totally forgot you know guys tell me if you want me to create a video showing you how to create a brush using your well create a brush for your logo i'm gonna i can do a video for that if you want so i'm gonna create a new layer and then ensure that my brush is white and then click that right there this brush is not white or the opacity is low yeah the up the flow is low so white good let's click right there and then i'm gonna get it smaller and put it where I'm going to put this? Right here? No, right here, right here. Good. <laughs> right there. I don't care if it's too big. <laughs> right there it's going to be. Good. I have a shortcut for um, saving for Instagram. So I'm just going to click the Dropbox icon right there. So that is it for the image. I hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes that I've done last week and also this retouch video. Remember, don't skip the ads when you're watching my videos and stay tuned for another video next week thank you guys for watching and have a good one bye bye